Welcome back. Now that you know the role of collagen in our bodies and what happens when we consume collagen, let's go ahead and talk about where we can find collagen. Collagen can be found naturally in our foods, especially if you like to eat nose to tail. So think bone broth, uh, beef tendon, veal shank, oxtail, fish skin, pork rinds. Now if you're not a fan of these types of foods, then this is where supplementation could play a role in your diet. Please note that there is no such thing as a vegan collagen. If you are vegan and you want to reap the benefits of glycine discussed in the previous video, I would recommend making sure you consume enough legumes every day. Personally, I love using collagen powder in my recipes, especially things like smoothies and acai bowls because it gives a really nice creamy and frothy texture. I also love it in my homemade ice cream because it keeps it nice and soft. Um, another thing is when you add it to baked goods, it gives you like a nice sheen um, as if you did like an egg wash. It also makes for a great egg substitute if you're allergic to eggs. And of course, you can also make gelatin-based desserts. So things like custards or panna cottas, and you can also reap the benefits of collagen. So bottom line, you do not need to take collagen in order to be healthy. Just like any other supplements, they supplement your current diet. Now if you do end up wanting to try a collagen supplement, please look for brands that are from wild marine sources or at least from grass-fed cows so you know that you're getting the best source possible. Another thing to note is you still want to make sure you add enough vitamin C rich foods and other variety of foods so you're getting things like riboflavin to help optimize your collagen production. So I actually have an additional video to answer some of the most commonly asked questions regarding collagen. So stay tuned for that bonus video.